It is my pleasure to welcome you to the Symposium Swiss Finance in a Changing World. As the director of the Swiss Federal Office for Environment, it is a special privilege and pleasure for me to talk to, talk to you, the experts of the financial sector. This is an achievement of the UNIP inquiry into the design of a sustainable financial system. With the inquiry, the United Nations Nation Environmental Programme has brought together two, until now, separate, separated topics that are, however, strongly interrelated, namely a green and inclusive economy, and B, the financial system. We will not achieve a green and inclusive economy without the financial system being at this art. It was clear, was Achim already have already said. Let me start, let me start uh, with the need for a green economy. Today, human activity is causing stress on several Earth system processes. You probably all know this, uh, uh, this image from St Rockstrom that, that shows that planetary boundaries for climate, biodiversity, and nitrogen emission to ecosystem have already been transgressed and several other limits are, will be in the next year. Today, the global population uses natural resources equivalent to 1.5 Earth to meet its requirements. And if everyone in the world were to use as many natural resources as we do in Switzerland, almost three Earth would be needed. In 2050, a world with 9 billion people is projected. Though the aim is clear, we must enable more people to have a better quality of life while reducing the consumption of natural resources. What does this imply? The World Business Council for Sustainable Development estimates that we must increase resource efficiency by a factor of 4 to 10 by 2050. And, and you should ta taste this, this short sentence. We have to increase resource efficiency by a factor of 4 to 10 in the next 35 years. With regard to the Switzerland's use of natural resources, the three most important uh, consumption domains responsible for together about 70% of our env environmental impact are nutrition, housing and mobility. Hence, if we want transformation, if we want to change the game in Switzerland, we need to increase resource efficiency, in particular in these three domains. For mobility means intelligent infrastructures to enable a resource-efficient mobility system and life organization. Better cars, smarter trains, new interlinkages between different carrier systems. Housing, smart, resource-efficient building, which focus not only on the energy use, but also on rough material efficiency throughout all the life cycle, during construction, new material, new composite material, more smart material, during the use, during the deconstruction, and we have a recycling of the elements of buildings. In future, like phonics, from the ashes, new buildings should arise from today's building. In nutrition, Switzerland is heavily reliant on food imports. And 40% of what we plant end as food waste. There are opportunities in innovative agriculture and food process processing, as well as furthering Switzerland's impressive track record of organic farming and products. For Switzerland, as a smart, open economy with a strong service sector, it is not surprising that about 73% of the environmental impact of consumption occurs abroad due to the imports of rough materials and goods. 
The consequence is that we have to increase resource efficiency, not only to utilize a banking uh, vocabulary, not only onshore, but also offshore, along the whole value chain of products. In today's world, this means we have to increase resource, resource efficiency globally. This is, um, no doubt, reducing resource use and increasing the resource efficiency is a big challenge. It needs important changes. It needs, it needs changes in our behavior, in everyday behavior. It, it will need changes in the way we plan our lives. It will need changes into the products we use, into the technologies we use to produce those products. It needs new production systems. It needs new infrastructures to utilize these products and organize our, li our lives. And all these changes has to be financed. All these ch changes costs. The good news is, however, that it is at the same time a business opportunity. And I'm convinced that in, it is particularly a chance for the Swiss economy, for its real economy, but also for its financial sector. For the financial sector, there is a special window of opportunity, worldwide investment, as we have heard and as we will hear later on, of trillions of, of Swiss francs are needed. And Switzerland's strong financial center, which its global relevance, can become one important actor of this process. Switzerland has already an impressive track record and a promising outlook. We have a strong environmental commitment, are nationally and internationally committed to the green economy, have a robust innovative capacity and a financial center of global relevance with pioneers of sustainable finance product. <coughs> The timing of the UNEP inquiry into the design of a sustainable financial system is perfect for Switzerland. The inquiry has been launched as a project and an invitation to collaborate and to find out together, globally and locally, how we can align this financial system with sustainable development. You see here in the picture some of the organizations engaged in the process and some in the countries that have country engagements. Representing the Swiss Federal Office for the Environment in the International Advisory Council of the Inquiry has inspired me to take this collaborative approach back home to Switzerland. I launched a Swiss country engagement by building a Swiss team for the UNEP inquiry, which which are representative of the financial sector, of civil society, NGOs, academia, and government. The Swiss team reflected on the inquiry's questions and the specific role of Switzerland in this development. I'm impressed and I'm also touched by the enthusiasm of the stakeholders who participated in this dialogue and joined forces to provide insight to the UNEP inquiry. As uh, Achim already said, a first outcome of our fruitful collaboration is the report Swiss Team Input to the UNEP Inquiry. In the report, the Swiss Team identified some main challenges that inhibit the financial system from providing stronger support for a green economy. For example, the failure of prices to reflect true costs. For example, the disconnect between long-term impacts and short-term decision and the instability of the financial system. To overcome these three challenges, we need, among other following precondition, the valuation of true costs. We need the application of the precautionary principle of doing no harm also in the financial sector. And we have to reflect on the adoption of, of simple but effective regulation and incentives for new innovative green financial instruments. Sabine Döbeli, the CEO of the Swiss Sustainable Finance Association, will present the report more in deep this afternoon. Today's symposium is another fruit of our Swiss country engagement. 
It is designed as a learning and reflection experience. We will learn from the insights of the UNEP inquiry presented by the co-directors, uh, Nick and Simon, thank you for this, of the inquiry that morning and the, in the afternoon. We will share international and Swiss best practice example of sustainable finance in 10 breakout sessions. And in the late afternoon, we will have a high-level panel reflecting the vision of a financial sector at the earth of a green economy and brainstorming on possible ways of translating this vision, vision into action. It seems that we will have a surprise guest at this high panel in the person of the Minister for Infrastructure, uh, Environment and Energy of the Swiss government. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my ardent wish for the UNEP inquiry to make a significant contribution to the global dialogue on financial system and sustainable development. I wish that in Switzerland, the, place, the players of the financial sector embrace this changing world and respond to the business opportunity that arise from resource efficiency. The Swiss team will elaborate over the next few months ideas on a roadmap for responsible finance. I am positive that our strong and international financial sector with pioneers in sustainable finance can play a key role in this global transition. A resource efficient future needs courage, collaboration, action and reflection. Today is a wonderful opportunity to reflect on this business opportunity and of, of the business opportunity of our time and explore ideas for action. Thank you.